Hey everyone, this is AVGV Gaming bringing you guys episode number 22 of this Black Ops 2 emblem tutorial for the football badges. And as you guys can see up on screen, we have another subscriber request, which is the Club Americas or America. And um, this one's from the League MX, if you guys don't know from this club. And um, their badge is actually quite intricate in the middle bit. Um, it's very, very detailed. But I'll show you guys how to do it here in this episode. And hopefully you guys do enjoy this. If you did enjoy this episode, uh, please leave a like and subscribe as it will help me a lot. At the same time, um, I put a lot of work into this one as uh, going with the intricate detail in the middle. So uh, you will see that, guys, in this episode. Uh, I'll talk to you guys. I know today was scheduled for a Q&A, but sadly when I went into my uh, Black Ops Theatre, it was uh, not there under bookmark games. I'm not sure if they actually refreshed that and uh, it disappeared. But... Um, I'm sure I saved it, so it's probably somewhere over there. I just at the time I was sort of panicking and I couldn't find it, so I left it out. And so I'll bring you guys an emblem tutorial. As um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this one, so uh, and I know Celtic as well has been another, another one that's been asked for a lot. So I am working on that one, so don't have to you know, <laughs> keep getting it. Uh, but I, I will see if I can bring that out to you guys next week. I'm trying to see. Um, I'm trying to get all the ones that have been already requested out and the ones I've got recorded up to get them out to you as as quickly as I can. Um, going on about. Um, I'll just answer a few questions quickly actually from uh, the Q&A which a few people have sent me in and one of them was uh, what level am I and I'm not sure if that question implies my Black Ops level or my FIFA level if you're talking about my FIFA level on my um, gameplay account I think I'm level 79 um, that's not in the um, the one that you saw that where I did the um, last reasonable squad builder but um, I'm level 79 and on my Black Ops I'm level 52 seventh prestige so I've been um, I prestige quite quickly in that game I don't find it too difficult it's just uh, the way I play on that game is just um, a lot of running around and uh, using the S uh, SMGs I think submachine guns so um, I highly recommend those to anyone who's also a new player on Black Ops if you want to level up really quickly just use the SMGs as they uh, do a good uh, quite a good job and a fairly powerful job but as you can see here now working on the emblem here in the middle bit I think another thing I was uh, Oh yeah, reasonable squad builders and hybrids at the moment. Uh, someone sent me in a hybrid yesterday, one of my subscribers here. Sent me in a hybrid for a Serie A Bundesliga and British Premier League team. I've actually gone and made that today. I was sort of, uh, as soon as I saw that, I straight away got an idea of the team that I wanted to make with that. And a few great players that are going to go into it. So you guys will see that as well next week. And uh, reasonable squad builder, we've got an Irish team that's going to be coming out. As well as a Brazilian Bundesliga team. So that's quite an interesting one. And um, you guys hopefully will enjoy that one because... Uh, I'm actually going to see if I can get some really good foot gameplay for that. And uh, moving on from that, um, a lot of uh, emblem requests. I think I got leads yesterday as well. Or was it the day before? Um, so working on all those pretty much. I, I think I've also been given QPR. Someone asked me for QPR. So I'm going to go make those as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy these emblem tutorials. As uh, Some of them do take a quite a long time. But you know it's fun making them. As uh, It's interesting finding out different clubs and different subscribers. Um, teams that they support. Uh, something I like. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned you guys my gamer tag yet. Um, it's Supreme Jace. I think I put it in a video uh, quite a while back in one of my other videos. It's uh, Supreme Space Jace and it's on Xbox. Um, I mainly play Xbox. My brother's mainly the one who does um, PS3 stuff. So um, you will see the difference in that. He'll sort of be bringing out some stuff in a little while. But um, at the moment, guys, I do bring out uh, pretty much. Uh, I'm on Xbox. If you guys want to add me, you want to play some Call of Duty with me, I think this weekend there might be double XP. I'm not too sure. My, one of my friends was talking about that. Um, just before I um, just came on here, so um, maybe there might be double XP weekend. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to even play on the weekend, sadly. But um, you can add me on that, and we'll talk to you guys. I know at the moment I think I've got three subscribers who have added me on my actual account, and I went and got my friends list and basically cleared out a good 50 people. So uh, I've got a lot of space, guys. So if you do want to add me, just add me, and then we can uh, play Black Ops. We can play FIFA. I can teach you guys a few different things in Black Ops, how to level up. At the same time, FIFA, we can have a few games. And uh, just sort of, I like playing a different different style. So I like to practice with different teams, different players at the moment. I'm trying to use a few uh, informed players, as that's something I'm finding uh, a bit interesting. Trying to understand what's the benefit of using informed players over normal players. And uh, also, going to be bringing out you guys the January transfers, as well as the team of the year soon. Hopefully, um, I think it's next week. If not, this will, will definitely be the week after. And then EA will probably do one of those things where they release them in... Um, Defenders, midfielders, strikers. Hopefully that'll be one of the things that they do because they do a good job at doing that and um, it'll be very beneficial for us so um, we can break everything down. And I'll go into the stats as well, guys, so we can go into depth and uh, understand what's the benefit of having a Team of the Year player over the normal card. So um, that'll be one thing that's fun and fun to look forward to. Um, but uh, I think this episode is going to wrap up here, guys. Um, I'm just finishing, doing the finishing touches, as you can see. Just trying to shove as much detail on that emblem as you can see. Uh, sort of struggling there at the middle bit, but... Um, I go and resolve it as you'll see now and uh, just sort of put that uh, semicircle in there to get it sort of looking as right as I could. Uh, you can go as um, a slight variation on this thing but um, 
I'd highly recommend you guys follow this. As you can see, just trying to get that oval, this sort of the um, rounded shape inside the middle. So uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you guys. Uh, if you guys add me on Xbox, I look forward to playing you guys. At the same time, uh, we'll get some emblem tutorials done and a few subscribers requests as well. Uh, and hopefully we can get that Q and A scheduled sometime next week. So maybe Monday or. Wednesday. But um, this has been AVJV Gaming. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.